Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Wintersar here, back on Car Mechanic Simulator Console Edition. I've tried to come up with something a little bit different this time. The trouble is with this game, it actually has a decent car list. So when you want to do a... How do I say this? A stupid build. Realistically, there's only three or four cars to do it with. So I'm hoping I have achieved this, and let's get this video started. So here it is. I am not even going to try and pronounce the name. Well, I, I should try. Reno Piccolo? Yeah, wouldn't have a clue. Anyway, I have modified the body from the body tuning shop. All body parts B have been installed, front and rear. And I have also put Zonda racing seats in it. So this thing is pure race bread now. It's also had an engine swap, but we'll get to that later. Custom low profile tires. Let's see what she can do on the track. This car is actually quite a bit of fun to drive. Normally after each video I sell the car and move on. But I'm thinking this one's a keeper. So we'll start off with the engine. I did an engine swap. I put the i4 in it. Uh, double overhead cam. BFM version. All performance parts have been installed. Filters. Exhaust system. Tunable gearbox. And of course the racing tyres on the front and the slick tires on the rear i didn't know if it'd work out with a front wheel drive car but it actually did so at the moment this is still my best tire setup the dimensions of the tires are the same front and rear we are running 205s 30 with a rim radius of 18 and once again that is front and rear this is the current gearbox tune I'm running. All I did was drop down the final drive to try and keep it in second and third as long as I can. But to be honest, um, I've never mentioned it in any other videos. It's an automatic gearbox, so realistically how much tuning can you actually do? You can't control the kickback. I would love it if this game had a manual gearbox. Because I'd actually be able to come out with some decent tunes. 
Okay, so let's jump across to the dino just because we can. We ended up with 387 horsepower and 508 newton meters of torque. Not too bad for a little fella. I think it's time now to wrap up this video. I would like to thank my two latest subscribers for joining, Triple X Gamers Boy and Jonathan Spanlove. Thank you very much, you put me in double digits. Also, I'm currently sitting at 126 views. To be honest, I never thought I'd even get one view. So to anybody that's actually watched this stuff, thank you very much, it is much appreciated. And if you're still here and watching this video, honestly, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to link two videos on the end screen here. If you want to see more content, click them. If not, I will see you guys around in the next video.